Hello everyone, welcome back to another Starfield video. Bethesda just released three new mods for the creation kit. I don't know if they released them yesterday or today, I didn't check every day. But anyway, let's get right into it. And I'm going to start with my least favorite one. And that is this one, the water cool miners outfit. And I don't know why this thing is 400 creation credits. Like that is... That is $4 for just one single outfit. So I'm still contemplating whether I should get it or not. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the pricing is a little bit off on this one, which is why I'm ranking it my least favorite. It doesn't look very attractive. I mean, I do like the top, but the bottom, the pants with that whole thing going on around it, I'm not feeling it. And I know that it's kind of unfair because I'm not even downloading this and I'm just judging it based on the pictures alone. So I do understand there's a bit of unfairness here. You know, if I end up buying it and it turns out to be fantastic after doing a 360 view of this on my character or my companion's character, maybe I update the video. But honestly, this one is probably my least favorite release to date from Bethesda. Anyway, let's move on. The next one is the Allied Desert Camo Skin Pack. So this is at least is a, a pack of skins for how many weapons is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For eight weapons. I might very likely buy this one. It's only 300 creation credits. I'm pretty curious. I want to see how it is. A lot of the guns, I use them. So I think this might be actually something worth considering. I really like how... The, I think this is the Urban Eagle, how this gun looks. I mean, very military camo look. So this one is pretty good. I think I'm going to get this one. I'm going to probably just do one video showcasing it on all the guns. But anyway, so those are some of the guns in the picture. All right, anyway, let's move on to the last one, the final one, which is free. And it's another blackout version for this weapon. This is the same skin pattern type of thing that they released for the drum beat at the very beginning, the blackout version. So I really like it when it was released for the drum beat. It looks pretty fantastic. So I ended up, of course, getting this one as well. And so here is how it looks in game. I think it looks pretty good. The reload, everything looks fantastic. By the way, I haven't used the shoddy for a long, long time. And I forgot that you could actually make this gun automatic. So I have this legendary version. I added some mods. I applied the skin and I took it on a run. And this thing, this thing, this thing is quite a beast. I mean, you make it automatic. I think this is probably now my new favorite gun. It really packs a punch, especially with this version that doubles the base magazine size to 24 and you just go to town with it on this automatic. Man, this is a great weapon. If you haven't tried it, get a legendary advanced version, go have fun with it. And if you wanna know how to make your own legendary version, I have a tutorial how to use the console command for that. I put a link in the description. I think this gun is pretty sick now. Also, I got Sarah a new outfit and uh, it's really tight. I'll probably make a video of some outfits as well at some point once I'm try all of them. So stay tuned for more videos. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.